So, as you already know, we finally got season four. And as everyone expected, it's a Marvel themed season. So dope. So many awesome changes to the weapon meta, a ton of new skins and challenges, and really not that many bad changes. Really, in all honesty, man, it's really dope. And today, we're going to be diving into all things meta for this season. We're going to be discussing all of the new strategies, all of the new tips that you should know in order to dominate everybody you run into in season four. I hope you guys are ready for this. What's going on, guys? I'm so pumped up. This is your motivation guy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You need to be pumped up as well, man, because it's time for you to break through this year. It's time for you to do things that you've never done before playing Fortnite. Are you ready? Are you ready to be great? I believe in you guys. Come on, Bunch of Crunch Army. Also, if you feel like you're struggling in Fortnite, putting in that grind, but not really improving, make sure to check out ProGuys.com, where one of our pro coaches can help you improve on your weak points and reach the next level. Make this season your season. And with that said, bunch of crunch charming, here we go. It's time to sit back. Come on, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch army. Let's get this going. So, when it comes to early game, the changes that we've seen haven't really been too drastic. There are a few map changes, being the Sentinel Graveyard, Doom's Domain, and the Authority being cleaned up of everything, except this one little henchman guy. <laughs> Feels kind of bad, man. The biggest change to early game that's going to impact your gameplay is the adjustment of chest spawn rates. Epic decided to nerf the chest spawn rate in normal games. Now this change isn't too bad for casual mode, but I don't know about having this in competitive, man. It just adds an unnecessary RNG element to the early game, and that's really something we really don't need more of. All right, whatever, it's here. And honestly, the meta this season is gonna be landing at a more secluded spot to first loot up, then rotate into a POI or main location once you're comfortable with your loot. This will allow you to ensure your loot is good enough. And it's gonna make your early game so much easier when the time comes to start fighting. Hopefully this change ends up getting a little reverted, but at the time of making this video, it seems like it's here to stay. In terms of weapons, all right, a lot has changed in the new season. We're gonna be coming out with a new loadout guide really soon, so we won't get too crazy in this video, but let's talk about a few changes that you could be making to adapt to this new weapon meta in season four. Here we go. The first big change that we all love to hear is the re-addition of the pump shotgun. Oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> the pump is back, my friends, and the tactical shotgun was removed to make space for it. I don't mind this change personally. Also, the combat shotgun was also reintroduced. It's a lot more rare, but it's definitely here, so that's a really big plus. Although the combat was nerfed a bit, the shotgun meta seems a lot more skilled with a loot pool of the charge, pump, and combat. Although, according to us, the pump still remains the alpha weapon. Also, a few other involvings include the Boogie Bomb, the Shockwave Grenade. The launcher was removed, by the way. We've also got the OG Tactical SMG port fort Bandage Cannon from early Chapter 2, Silence Some Machine Gun, and the Scope AR. A few other weapon changes were the removal of all the old mythic items, launch pads, uh, some pistol rarities, stink bombs, decoys, some rapid fire SMG variants, all classic SMGs, and some hunting rifle variants. Also new items like a few little Marvel mythics, you know, traps and fancy new fish items were added as well, which are worth keeping that in mind. All right. So keeping this in mind, man, this video is being made pretty early in the season, so we might have missed a thing or two, and it's really honestly subject to change, all right? Overall, to dominate in this meta in terms of weapons, your best bet is to hop into some games or creative and just simply just spend a few hours experimenting with what you like. Although it does seem like the pump shotgun is still on top. All right, guys, next up, when it comes to the mid game, in both competitive and casual modes, it's definitely going to be made more interesting. That's for sure. All of these changes are going to really add, you know, up to unique fights, you know, different methods, of rotating and just generally a different feel to the game. What I do like is the addition of these new floppers and other items such as boogie bombs. They're going to make for more of a versatile, you know, tactical gameplay. One big concern for a lot of players is the removal of the launch pad. 
However, this is somewhat covered by a few other mobility changes like drivable cars and competitive, bounce pads, and the OG shock waves. Overall, it seems like in both mid and end game, it's gonna take a bit more IQ to rotate. You won't be able just to W key for the caddy launcher or grappler. You're gonna have to get good loot, use some different items to rotate, and I think this is a welcome change after what we went through last season. Overall, this season, there really is no clear meta for mid game. It seems like, as usual, you know, you get away with a variety of playstyles depending on the game mode, like playing aggressive if it's an easier game, or passive if you're against better players. Overall, it really doesn't seem like this season is just too much different from past ones in terms of how you should actually play out the mid game. The general strategies and zone mechanics of past seasons are still around, guys. So your actual positioning really shouldn't be too heavily affected unless your strategy relies on launch pads or another vaulted item. Otherwise, most general rotation strategies from recent seasons should be really fine with some minor adjustments, okay? Speaking of your strategy, make sure to check out ProGuides.com and take a look at our scrim course, man, which outlines everything that you need to know in terms of competitive strategy. Or get a session with one of our pro coaches who can help you develop your own optimal strategy so you can play as well as possible. Also, check out my motivation show, man, where we're changing mentality every Friday, 12 o'clock PST. All right, so when it comes to fighting, honestly, a lot of the meta this season definitely revolves around mobility items. In the new season, everyone has access to mobility, like shockwaves, crash pads, bouncers. With all three of these items at every player's fingertips now, it's no wonder that this season's fighting meta is going to be heavily based on who can utilize these the best. Obviously, we have the shockwave grenades, which you can use to hop into someone's box, grab height, or even shockwave them into zone if that's your thing. Then we have the bouncers, which really aren't the best for fighting, but I'm sure the community will find use very soon. <laughs> and you know your motivation guy is here to hook you up once something is found. Then we have the crash pads, which we had last season, which are mainly used to hop into boxes or can be used to efficiently disengage from a fight. Whichever way you decide to use them in fights, getting good at utilizing mobility is going to pay dividends. Also, it is worth mentioning, my friends, that the new fish are going to end up being really helpful in fights to pop quickly and get an advantage over your opponent, which is dope. Gone are the days of floppers and slurp fish. Now we have an absolute ton of different fish, so get out there and explore and try to carry fish into fights so you can get that quick healing and the variety of other advantages fish can give. Finally, when it comes to end game, especially when it comes to rotations, we're gonna be seeing a lot more use of things like bouncers, shockwaves, and crash pads to rotate, and the removal of launch pads is definitely gonna impact the fit and stick zones rotation in all modes, okay? However, let me say this, apart from the fact that you're gonna be using different items for your rotations, just like the mid game, your general strategy shouldn't see too much change as a result of the new season. Apart from some slight tweaks and adjustments to counter the removal of mythic items and the new vaultings and unvaultings, your general strategy guys should be somewhat similar to what you had before. One big problem though, for whoever plays high ground, is that everyone has access to shockwaves now, so it might be more viable to actually play mid ground throughout the game or take it later like in the 8th and 9th zones. We'll see how this plays out in the competitive scene and it's definitely worth keeping that in mind. However, in in-game, it does seem like aggression may be a bit lower with the huge amount of mobility items that, that are in the game now and that are accessible to everybody. So you may want to start looking for impact frags early and carry as much mobility as you can into the end game to save on materials. Otherwise, we're going to see how everything plays out going to the competitive part of the season. Overall, when it comes to end game, just make sure to be more cautious of height, carry a lot of utility and healing, and consider making some adjustments to your strategy if you feel like end game is becoming one of your weak points, okay? So in conclusion, you know, my biggest advice is to get out there into the game and learn what you like and learn, you know, what you dislike using, all right? Ultimately, this season is a season of preference, and there are a ton of things that you really can just improve on, you know, through trial and error. 
All right, guys. Once again, this is your motivation guy. I'm so pumped up for this season, man. Let's go get it. Come on, Bunch of Crunch Army. It's time to make a name for ourselves, man. It's time to make this world a better place, man, in this game and also in life. So let's keep going. Connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Once again, if you feel like you're struggling to adapt into this crazy new meta, make sure to ask one of our pro coaches on ProGuides.com and be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on all the newest strategies. As you already know this, man, your motivation guy has got you, man, with all the best tips and tricks and strategies in this new season, all right? As everything settles into place, we're going to have more and more info. So be sure to stick around and I'll see you soon. Keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.